Frank Morris arrived at Alcatraz in January 1960 after numerous attempts to elude capture and convictions for bank robbery, burglary, and other crimes. John Anglin was transferred to Alcatraz later that year, followed by his brother Clarence in early 1961. Their criminal histories bound them together. The three were assigned adjacent cells and began plotting their escape. Morris was in charge of the planning, and he was known for his intelligence. Alan West helped out. Their opportunity arrived June 12, 1962. John Anglin, Clarence, and Frank Morris were nowhere to be found during the routine bed check. Plaster, flesh-toned paint, and real-haired dummy heads in their beds had duped the guards during the night. The prison was searched and secured. The FBI was immediately called in to help. The FBI's San Francisco office distributed leads to offices across the country in search of information on the missing inmates and previous escape attempts. The men's relatives were interviewed, identification records were compiled, and bay boat operators were asked to look for debris. The men's rubber-sealed letters were discovered two days later. Paddle-like wood and inner tube fragments were discovered in the water. On Cronkite Beach, a homemade life vest washed up, but no other evidence was discovered. The FBI, Coast Guard, Bureau of Prisons, and others gathered evidence and pieced together the brilliant escape plan over time. Alan West, who was unable to escape in time, provided information. After discovering old saw blades, the group resumed planning in December. The plotters painstakingly drilled closely spaced holes around the cover of the air vents at the back of their cells with crude tools, including a drill made from broken vacuum cleaner motor parts, to remove the entire section of the wall. The holes were filled with whatever they could find, such as a suitcase or cardboard. Behind the cells was an unprotected utility corridor. They went down this corridor and built a secret workshop on the roof of their cell block. They built and hidden what they needed to escape there with stolen and donated materials, taking turns watching the guards in the evening before the last count. For the lookouts, a crude periscope was built, inspired by magazines found in the prisoner's cells. More than 50 stolen or gathered raincoats were stitched together and vulcanized by the prisoner's hot steam pipes to make life preservers and a 6x14 rubber raft. They inflated rafts and made wooden paddles using a musical instrument. The day had finally arrived. They climbed pipes to reach the 30-foot ceiling and opened the shaft's ventilator. For the time being, soap bolts held it in place. Because of a partially removed ventilator grill, Alan West was left behind. Three more people entered the corridor and gathered their belongings before climbing up and out the ventilator and scaling the prison roof. They then scaled the bakery smokestack behind the cell house, climbed the fence, and made their way to the island's northeast shore to launch their raft. But did they succeed? Many people have attempted to demonstrate that the men survived, but the evidence is inconclusive. Children have swum the mile between Alcatraz and Angel Island, but the men faced strong currents in Frigid Bay water. The possibility of traveling by land was also considered, but no clothing or car thefts were reported. The fugitives' families appeared to be too poor to help them, and no credible evidence of their survival was found in the United States or elsewhere over the span of 17 years. If the trio is still alive, they would be quite old by now, and it's highly unlikely that they would have survived the treacherous waters of San Francisco Bay. The harsh conditions and strong currents would have made reaching the shore without being apprehended nearly impossible. The mystery of their escape and possible survival, on the other hand, has captured the public's imagination and continues to be the subject of speculation and conspiracy theories. Some believe the men made it to shore and then vanished, while others believe they drowned in the bay. Whatever happened to Morris and the Anglin brothers, their escape remains one of the most daring and ingenious prison breaks in history. The planning and execution of the escape from Alcatraz, as well as the use of homemade tools and materials, demonstrated the human spirit's ingenuity and resourcefulness in the face of extreme adversity. Numerous books, movies, and documentaries have been inspired by this story. These are Interesting Things with J.C.